What's happening? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, with part two of the push-pull workout split. Now, in the previous workout video that I posted up, uh, we covered the pushing exercises of the push-pull split, and today we're going to go over the pulling exercises. And this is a great way to pair up your body parts because you're working complementary exercises all together in the same workout and it's going to prevent you from doing repetitive movements day after day. So it's a great way to pair up your body parts and it's also a great way to condense a lot of training volume into a short workout routine. We're getting our entire body trained over the course of two workouts. So it's a, a great routine for those of you who are pressed for time or if you just want to change things up and increase your training frequency then the push-pull split is a great way to go. So let's just jump right into it now. The pulling exercises of our push-pull split. And the first exercise of our pulling workout is the bent over barbell row. Now with this one we're going to do four sets of eight to ten repetitions and as you're doing the bent over row keep your torso at a 45 degree angle to the floor and row the bar to your stomach. This is going to help to engage more of the lower lats and help to build width and thickness throughout the back. And after the barbell row, we're going to do some standing bicep curls. And for this exercise, you can use either a straight bar or an easy curl bar. It's personal preference as to which one you like the best. I'm using the easy curl bar because a couple years ago I actually tore my biceps and I find that using the easy curl actually places less strain on the tendons in my arms and allows me to curl more comfortably. But again, you can use whichever bar you prefer. Uh, for this one we're going to do four sets of eight to ten repetitions and most of the exercises in our push-pull workout split we're going to stick to that basic four sets of eight to ten reps. And the next exercise in our workout is the pull-up and this is a great exercise to work the back, the biceps and the forearms. Now with this one you can mix and match your grip with each set. So you'll notice here that I'm doing a wide overhand grip and in the next set I'm using a narrow parallel grip and you can mix it up with each set so if you want to do like an underhand grip or a really wide grip or whatever different types of grips that you have available at the pull-up station feel free to take advantage of them to work all the different areas of your back and now we're going to do some work for the lower body with the stiff leg deadlift and this is a great move that focuses on working the hamstrings and the glutes now you notice here in the video I'm standing on a step in order to get a better range of motion and to be able to lower the bar down deeper and get a better stretch in the hamstrings. Now that's totally optional, it kind of depends on your own individual flexibility. But regardless if you use a step or not, one thing that you need to focus on when you're doing stiff leg deadlifts is to maintain a slight bend in the knee as you lower the bar down. What this is going to do is place most of the stress on the hamstring muscles and take the strain off the tendons and the ligaments in the back of the knee. So again, you want to focus on stretching and working the muscles, not overstraining the tendons and the ligaments. And to conclude our pulling workout, we're going to do some pull-down cable crunches for the abdominals. And this is a great ab exercise because it allows you to work your abs through a full range of motion. You can work your abs while standing and you can add resistance. So it's a great exercise to include as part of your abdominal workout routine. Now with this one all you have to do is stand facing away from the lat pull down station and grab the bar behind your head and curl your torso down and get a great contraction throughout the entire abdominal area. Now when it comes to ab training we're going to increase the repetitions to 10 to 15 reps per set because abs tend to respond better to a higher volume of repetitions and more time under tension. So all the other exercises we were sticking with uh, 8 to 10 reps with the abs we're going to bump that up to 10 to 15 reps per set. So there you go that is the push-pull workout split I hope you enjoyed this video. Now make sure to give this one a try for yourself. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything at all, please feel free to post them in the comment section below, and I will check you down there. And make sure to stay tuned for some more future workout videos coming your way. And as always, have yourself a fantastic day, and I shall talk to you soon. Take care. Over and out.